an unbelievable story, Aaron Beverly. The contest chair was relieved. My title is only three words long. <laughs> but friends, why is this story unbelievable? June 2018, I fly to India to attend the wedding of my friend Brandon and his fiance, Devika. Brandon and family are white, Devika and family are Indian. And I am the only black man there. I can't help but feel different. But I try my best to blend in. I buy formal Indian wedding attire. What do you think? I even participate in a sacred Indian wedding ritual, protecting the groom's shoes. <laughs> During the car ride to the wedding, my friend Sunit explains this ritual. When Brandon takes off his shoes during the ceremony, Devika's bridesmaids will try to steal them. The groomsmen protect the shoes from the bridesmaids. If they win, they hold the shoes ransom, forcing Brandon to buy them back. It's a game, Sunit says. I think it sounds like a spy movie. <laughs> Sunit says, Aaron, the bridesmaids will try sweet talk, they will try deception, but don't give the shoes to anybody. Will you accept this mission? Quick fact about me. When I am given a mission, I take it very seriously. I look at Sunit and I say, I accept the mission. At the wedding ceremony, Brandon takes off his shoes. I swoop in, grab the shoes, sit down in the front row. Smooth, stealthy. I feel like a black James Bond. <laughs> the leader of the bridesmaids walks over. She smiles at me. But gentlemen, have you ever seen a girlfriend or wife smile, yet at the same time, you just felt scared? <laughs> I call her the ominous smiler. She says, Aaron, you look very handsome today. I say, thank you. Could you pass me Brandon's shoes? No. <laughs> Sunit said, the bridesmaids will try sweet talk. Don't give the shoes to anybody. But Aaron, she says, that's against Indian tradition. When I hear that, the global ambassador within me gets nervous. <laughs> I don't want to cause an international incident over a pair of shoes. I can see the headlines. Idiot ruins wedding and India-US relations. <laughs> I almost hand over the shoes, but remember Sunit, they will try deception. Don't give the shoes to anybody. I say no again. Then the ominous smiler, she moves closer. She says, and I quote, we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. <laughs> but you will give us the shoes. I am now scared for my life at this wedding. However, I must protect the shoes because when I have a mission, I take it very seriously. So I curl over in my seat, I press the shoes against my chest, and this is how I watch the wedding for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> the ominous smiler tries to steal the shoes, but I hold firm. Then she disappears for 20 minutes before taking a seat to my right. She says, Aaron, I don't care about the shoes anymore. You win. I say, do I look like a fool to you? <laughs> but she doesn't move. I think I won. Sunit runs over. He's ecstatic. He says, Aaron, I'm proud of you. I say, thank you. You took this mission very seriously. I say, that's right. Now, Give the shoes to me. No. <laughs> Sunit said, don't give the shoes to anybody. The ominous smiler disappeared to recruit backup. And I know a traitor when I see one. <laughs> then the ominous smiler pounces. She starts pulling my arms. Sunit joins her. Two versus one. They pull, I pull, but I hold firm. The other bridesmaids run over. Five versus one. They pull, I pull, but I hold firm. 
The other groomsmen run over. I think, yes, the cavalry has arrived. But they joined the bridesmaids. <laughs> Eight versus one. They pull, I pull, but I hold firm because when I have emission, I take it very seriously. They said, Aaron, just give us the shoes. I said, never! <laughs> Keep in mind, the wedding is still going on. <laughs> Devika's family is watching the ceremony as if nothing else is happening. I start wondering, is this normal? <laughs> then the ominous smiler signals the wedding photographer. And this dude is huge. He puts down his camera. Then he starts charging. He jumps on top of me. Nine versus one. They pull, I pull, but I... I lost the shoes. <laughs> Brandon paid ten times what those shoes were worth. But what makes this story unbelievable is not the shoes, nor the events. It is the context behind that game. That game is designed for the families of the bride and groom to get to know each other. Which means that among white and Indian families, a different, lonely black man was accepted like family too. We experience so much divisiveness nowadays that acceptance despite difference seems unbelievable. But there are people who still believe in it. Do you? Open your culture, your mind, your heart to people who are different from you. Show the world that acceptance, despite difference, is not an unbelievable story. This is your mission. Take it very seriously. Contest chair.